Could the latest firmware be the one? Roll a dodgy intro. It's not that bad and you voted unanimously for me to keep it. I guess it's a bit of uh, shaming. So immediately jumping into the speed test, speed tests from the latest firmware, which I'll show in a second, are running in the corner. So good morning from South Cambridge, for myself and Des. Uh, I've learned a lot today. I've learned that if you put icing sugar in a cup of tea rather than uh, normal sugar or caster sugar, it tastes weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, so every day's a learning day. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about Starlink and how a conversation last night made me realise that it's become quite generic. But before that, this is Des this morning. And Des is my Starlink router, trying to find his purpose, because the internet is not his thing. So thank you for joining me today. This is where I talk about Starlink from a normal person's point of view, not a specific type technology guy. Like technology, don't get me wrong, but when it comes to in-depth, detailed technology, as people have discovered, my knowledge isn't that strong. I'm just sharing a user experience as a beta tester how Starlink works for me. So that is my full disclaimer. I will share speed tests, I will share performance and how it works for Zoom calls, Slack calls, gaming, stuff like that. Also, I have a house of four people and we thrash our internet through various means. My wife uh, works and she has tons of conference calls. My son loves his Xbox and games a lot. My daughter, well, she's always FaceTiming or something with her friends. That's what they do since the pandemic. So this is a real insight into how Starlink performs. Now, you might notice the Des at the start. If you are considering Starlink, I would recommend that you don't stick with Starlink's router. They are in the process of a redesign. That was a, a bit of inside information there, and they are trying to make it better. They agree that it's not necessarily the best router in the world. Therefore, we have found another purpose for our routers as a community, and they are companions rather than network accessories. Also, I just want to touch on the guests that I've shown previously. Uh, a couple of people have commented about our technical know-how and we are all just users sharing in an experience and nobody has claimed to be an expert in specific areas. And I want to thank them for, for joining me on those streams. And talking about the streams themselves, when we refer to certain interviews, which we'll try not to mention too much again, but one of the problems that they mentioned there is about dropping out. So we live streamed a few nights ago and that live stream is available on the channel. And we were able to stream from four Starlinks across the United Kingdom for an hour and 15. And it was a quite a long stream. There was some beer involved. It was fun. We were just chatting about all things Starlink and, and showing where the satellites are, thrashing out some of the, the technological stuff that we, we, we guess a lot of it and, and make assumptions. and. Some of the guys on there are very good with technology, so they provide a bit of an insight into that. But that never dropped out once. And, you know, for people saying about Zoom calls, Slack calls, etc., it's definitely getting better. Now, this most recent firmware is a good one. Yesterday was a solid day. Um, one of the criticisms that people often have is that you only share your best speed tests. Well, on this channel, I don't. I share the speed test from the time that I record my screen. I don't edit, I don't modify. I share them real time and some of them suck. Quite simply, they do suck. But you can see how the network does fluctuate sometimes and it's a real world experience. So for the first time in a year, we had several guests in our house last night. They were my wife's friends. And starting came up as a topic of conversation. This was not instigated by myself. I wasn't party to that conversation. In fact, they didn't know that we had it installed and they were talking about the trains that they saw in the sky and what it was and the feedback from that conversation was very interesting. But what, what fascinates me is that it's now a topic of conversation and more and more people are going to be curious about what Starlink is. And yeah, I think it's, it's early days for us uh, in terms of beta testing and, and talking about our experience. So that's why I always feel it's key to share 
honest opinions and, uh, and an honest stance on how I feel it performs for me uh, and my family. So hopefully that's what you get here. So to answer the question, is this firmware version the one? No, it's not. It certainly has its issues. There is still that instability. And when I say instability, I don't mean dropouts. I just mean that uh, an upload from one test to another is vastly different. And I don't know if you, if you get the same thing on fiber to premises. I imagine it's very consistent. I know on my FTTC that when I, I always get five up and it would sit around there, maybe maybe jump to five and a half if I'm lucky. But with Starlink, it does seem to be quite erratic. It's very high and it, don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but it does fluctuate quite a bit, especially downloads too. They, they jump around. So I think that's what they're going to try and iron out before the global rollout. It's this consistency with speeds and of course we're still in the very early days of these satellites being put up and yeah well that's a whole different conversation and in terms of photography impact and I'm a photographer so uh, we'll leave that for another day I will come on to that uh, yeah so there you go that's a bit of an insight into what happens here I enjoy sharing this uh, information with you I enjoy being a uh, starting beta tester and I'm really enjoying the, the network and its performance so I'll leave you with these speed tests on this Saturday uh, and uh, I'm gonna say it's 2021 because last time I introduced my video it was, it was 2020 jump back a year it's not 2020 anymore I'm getting old so whatever you're doing for the rest of the day have a good one and I will catch you later